so whatever you have learned that i taught you now how i convert that discussion suitable to our intermediate x axis this is positive y axis and let me take two points this is x1 because this point is for x1 y1 this point is for x2 y2 so this value is x1 and uh, this value that means this value is y1 this is for x1 y1 this is for x2 y2 so x2 coordinate means from here to here and y2 means from here to here if i join these two with a straight line now the slope of this straight line is you know y2 minus y1 by x2 minus x1 how i am converting that previous discussion into present discussion this value is x1 this value is x2 so this value will be how much x2 minus x1 that means this value is also equal to x2 minus x1 now this is y1 this is y2 so from here to here it is y2 minus y1 so same this value is also equal to y2 minus y1 that means by taking this straight line as hypotenuse of right angle triangle i have identified the two sides x2 minus x1 is one side and y2 minus y1 is other side suppose if you take this as theta from this right angle triangle for this angle theta this y2 minus y1 is opposite side this x2 minus x1 is adjacent side so opposite side by adjacent side that only na this y2 minus y1 by x2 minus x1 is same as tan theta value so i am writing from this tan theta is equal to y2 minus y1 by x2 minus x1 that's all that means instead of writing this formula and substitution what i do is i'll just calculate this edge length and this edge length tan theta value i just calculate that will give you the slope suppose if tan theta gradually increases tan theta is increasing function from 0 to 180 degrees so theta increases tan theta also will increase slow slope will increase so now onwards slope means i just calculate what is the value of theta that the line makes with the positive x axis this angle is anti clockwise angle very important this angle is anti clockwise angle and uh, the angle made by that line with the positive x axis is theta and tan of that angle gives you slope how theta is varying based on that i am going to talk about slope and one more thing i want to calculate the equation of this straight line how i am going to calculate very simple this is a straight line this this point is for x1 y1 and this point is for x2 y2 and you can take any arbitrary point x comma y because you know you can take any two points and you calculate the slope so straight line slope you will be getting same this is x1 this is x2 so this value will be x2 minus x1 this value will be y2 minus y1 because up to here y1 from here to here y2 so this will be y2 minus y1 and this will be x2 minus x1 
this total and one more thing up to here it is x this is x1 this will be x minus x1 so this will be x minus x1 this will be y minus y1 so y minus y1 and this is x minus x1 you can take this angle is theta what i told you slope will be constant you can take any two points if i take x1 y1 and x2 y2 as two points so slope will be opposite y2 minus y1 by x2 minus x1 opposite side by adjacent side otherwise you can take this opposite side and this adjacent side will be getting same slope that is y minus y1 by x minus x1 so from this what you can write y minus y1 is equal to you can take you can multiply with x minus x1 so y2 minus y1 by x2 minus x1 into x minus x1 so this is the straight line equation for me that is the straight line equation so easily with the help of slopes easily we can go for uh, calculating equation of straight line